Hey dolls! Okay, so I am actually just going to talk to you guys while I crimp my hair. I haven't crimped my hair in so long, so I had to update you guys on what's going on with my mom anyways. So I figured that I would come on here and just crimp away, uh, kind of like a get ready with me type thing where I just sit down and talk with you. Um, okay, so as most of you guys know, um, and I am filming this on my vlog channel, by the way, so if the lighting is weird or something, or not my vlog channel, my vlog camera, I'm filming this on my vlog camera, so if the lighting is weird or anything like that, um, that is why. Um, so, as you guys, some of you guys may know, um, I've been updating my Instagram and Twitter um, about my mom lately, and uh, what had happened was she went in for a colonoscopy, and she had to do like the prep for it and everything where like she had to go days without like eating certain foods and basically she just had to clean out her system um so they could do a scope and the purpose for the scope was the doctor had said that she was anemic and they wanted to find out where she was bleeding from well she went in and she had her colonoscopy done and everything and they told her that everything looked fine that she didn't, you know, she, they couldn't find the bleeding and everything looked okay and, um, all that stuff. So she was doing okay. And she came home the day of her colonoscopy and she instantly just started having like these really bad, like shakes. Like she was like shaking really bad. And, um, she was kind of running a fever and she just couldn't get warm like she was freezing and so um my sister and I were just kind of there like giving her Tylenol to get her fever down and just kind of like sitting there with her and making sure everything was okay and um after about an hour it all subsided and everything was fine well um let me grab my mirror real quick so I can see what I'm doing uh well afterwards um, everything was okay and she started to feel a little bit better and then a few days later it ended up being I think it was Friday she was just doing really bad again Thursday and Friday she was just really doing really bad she went in for the colonoscopy I think on Wednesday and she was just doing really 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 bad and um, I Alan was over and since I don't drive for personal reasons I'm not going to disclose why um, but since I don't drive, uh, Alan offered to take her to the hospital Friday night, or, yeah, Friday night, and, um, she, she kind of didn't want to, she was a little hesitant, she's like, no, I think it'll be okay, I'm just gonna take some of my, um, medicine, and then I'm gonna go to sleep, and then I'll wake up and I'll be okay, well, I ended up sleeping in the bed with her, because I wanted to make sure she was okay, I knew how she, sick she was, and so, uh, she woke up the next morning and she almost passed out on our way to the bathroom and we knew right then and there that we needed to get her to the hospital. So we called 911 and an ambulance showed up at our house and uh, she met him on the front porch. We were able to walk her out to the front porch and they met her there and they took her uh, blood pressure, they took her pulse, they did her vitals and everything right there and she hadn't been eating properly because she had to do the prep for her colonoscopy so she was only like on a strictly liquid diet for the past like few days and she couldn't keep anything down or in she was having really bad diarrhea and really um bad nausea so she hadn't eaten properly in almost a week um or in like four or five days something like that and uh they took her vitals and everything and her blood pressure was 50 over 30 and right then and there the guy was like oh no we gotta load her up but they put her on ivs um on our front porch like they hooked her up to an iv right on our front porch they couldn't even wait till they got her in the back of the truck because she was so she was lacking fluid so much because she was super dehydrated and she hadn't been eating properly because she couldn't keep anything down well, this was Saturday, and she it was Saturday the 11th, and she went to the hospital. They ran a, um, a few tests, and they told her that um, they needed to do a stool sample so they could check a few things, see if there was any infection or something that was caused from the colonoscopy. 
and for some reason as soon as they said stool sample uh, she couldn't follow through with it she couldn't for like the next day or so so they kept her overnight until they could get the stool sample and then finally they got the sample and she didn't have the infection or anything like that and they were going to release her I believe on Monday but um, she had come down with the shakes and the fever and everything again. The whole time she was in the hospital for those two days prior, she hadn't been feeling any, any sort of, you know, um, fever or sickness or anything like that. And she, she was doing okay after they pumped the fluids in, fl fluids in her. They had said that she was super low on potassium, so they were giving her um, a lot of potassium in the hospital. They would given her like five or six bags of it. And uh, so she was doing a lot better. So they were going to let her fill out paperwork and, you know, let her go home and everything. Well, she had gotten really sick again. She went up to use the bathroom and she had gotten the shakes really bad and she got the fever. Well, now that she had the fever, they could run fever tests. I can't remember the exact term that they use for that. But since they could run fever tests, they did this fever test on her and it came back and it said that she has pneumonia. So, um, I don't know how she would have gotten it or where she would have gotten it or anything like that, but she's actually had the once in a lifetime pneumonia shot twice in her life. And, uh, yeah, it just, they put her on some antibiotics and they, they gave her two or three bags of antibiotics when she was there. And then they released her on Tuesday? Ah, oh, I got lipstick on my tooth. Sorry if that was there the whole time, ew. Um, but they released her on, I think it was Tuesday. And um, it is currently Thursday now, so. She, uh, she is back home, and she appears to be doing a lot better. But I did want to make an update video for you guys, because I had told you um, on my social media and stuff, I kept getting tons and tons of questions on, what's going on, what's going on, can you please tell us what's going on? So figured I would make a video for my main channel, kind of just informing everyone as to what is going on. Also, um, I've been getting questions about, like, her cancer and everything. Supposedly, her cancer is gone. Supposedly, she beat it. Um, they haven't run an actual, like, um, I think they call it a PET scan or something like that. They haven't run one of those scans on her, but um, from what they've told us, uh, it's, it's she, she beat it. And it was breast cancer that she was struggling with last year, as you guys know. And she went through the chemo, she went through the radiation and everything. Um, but now she's just... I don't know, she's she's doing alright. Thank goodness. Um, this crimper takes forever. I got it for 50 cents at a yard sale and it just takes a while. So That's why I figured I'd come on here and talk to pass the time while I was doing this. Because... It takes a while, and I don't crimp my hair often because this thing takes forever, and I just haven't invested in anyone. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've crimped my hair since I dyed it the dark, dark brown. I crimped it once when it was the light brown, but I don't think I've done it since it was dark. I used to do it all the time when it was blonde. I went through a huge crimping phase where I just loved how it looked and stuff. Back in the 90s. Actually, I never crimped my hair in the 90s. Okay. But, um, yeah, I figured that I would get on hand, let you guys know what's happening, and, um, let you guys know that everything is okay, and that's why I wasn't filming videos for some time, because I was just, you know, family first, obviously, is priority, and I needed to make sure she was good in her health before I proceeded with just filming. Um, I do love you guys, and I want you guys to know that even though I had to tend to that, I was still thinking about you guys, and I still, I still care about YouTube and everything, so. Also, uh, the, you guys remember the I've Changed video that I did, it was on my vlog channel, and I had said how I wanted to take kind of a break from sponsorships, and, uh, after I posted that on my main channel, you guys have seen two, maybe three at this time, um, sponsored videos since then. And honestly, those videos aren't actually sponsored. Those are just product reviews. Um, I wasn't getting paid to make any of those. Uh, but nonetheless, I had those planned out before I even filmed that vlog. 
And with companies, I like to be loyal and keep the trust with them and everything. So I went ahead and proceeded with them. One of them was actually pre-filmed before the vlog. Um, and the other one, half of it was pre-filmed before the vlog. But I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know that I'm not trying to, like, scam you guys or anything like that. I have no reason to. I'm always upfront and honest. And to be completely upfront and honest, the uh, sponsorships literally help me pay bills at my house. But... Um, I am going to be taking a break from them for a while because it's just, it's gotten kind of out of hand and everything. Um, but yeah, with the sponsorships, the companies that pay you to do product reviews, um, those are sponsorships and then regular just product reviews are, you know, you're just talking about a product that they sent you. They're not paying you to say anything. And that's the thing with the sponsorships. Don't think for one second that they're paying me to... They're paying me for my opinion. They're not paying me to advertise it in a way. Not like, oh, here's this toothbrush. Go buy it right now. They're not paying me for that. They're paying me to say my honest opinion on things, whether it be good or bad. And I will let you guys know. If there is something that is a little off about a product, you guys know that I let you guys know about it. And um, there was one time I actually worked with a company and I had left a negative comment in the video. And they straight up told me, uh, you either say only positive things or you don't work with us anymore. And so I don't work with that company anymore. Because I am honest with you guys and I want to give you guys my honest feedback, my honest opinion on how I feel about certain things to benefit you as to whether or not it's good or bad. And... If they couldn't respect my opinion on something and be honest with my viewers, then I don't want to work with them. So uh, please know that I've always been nothing but honest with you guys. And I just, I want to thank you guys for supporting me through everything and just being there. And regardless what decisions I've made, there are some of you guys who have just been outstandingly supportive and just amazing to me and I can't thank you enough for that so uh, with that being said I think I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here um, just know that I'm not necessarily taking a full-on break from product reviews and sponsorships because like I said the sponsorships that's kind of how I make the money to pay my bills at home since I do help my mom out with the bills and everything um, I do make an income from YouTube but sponsorship money is actually separate so that stuff helps pay the bills as well, you know, living living in a house isn't cheap, so, especially when I have to pay for the internet, and I can't, I can't do YouTube without internet, so obviously, you know, I help pay the internet, and I help pay electricity, because you need electricity to have internet, and it's just a huge long chain of, um, adulthood, I guess you could say, so, um, there's an update on that, and I will be doing the sponsorships and reviews here and there. They just won't be as crammed together. I was cramming them together for for quite a while because, quite honestly, I just needed the money. Um, there was a point where I was saving up to go to BeautyCon LA, and that kind of fell through, but I ended up putting the money towards other things, and so, um, such as bills and stuff. And uh, keep in mind that uh, my mom is on disability, so, um, she does have really good insurance, so her insurances do cover a lot of the medical stuff, thank goodness, um, but that doesn't mean they're going to cover our house payment and our water bill and our electric and our irrigation and all that stuff. Don't think that for one second her insurance is going to cover, you know, her own personal bills. Um, and since I share everything with her, it's only right for me to help out, so... Um, just letting you guys know that, and um, with that being said, I think I'm going to let you guys go. So, until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, be you. Okay, bye!